Good afternoon, it's Wild Card Wednesday, the day where I do whatever I want to do because it's my channel. <laughs> On this channel I usually do car videos, um, but a while back I did a shelf train video and so that's what this video is going to be about. Um, on Wednesday I do what I want or nothing at all if I'm too busy. Technically I am definitely too busy right now. I started doing a video on how to fix a leak on the oil cooler on the WRX. I'm going to do that on Sunday. I started to edit it. I try to do as many automotive videos and keep people happy and stuff. But at the same time I wanted to do a follow up video on the other one and I crunched as crunch for time. <laughs> so this is an easier video to edit and do. So that's what we're going to do. Plus it's freaking cool. It's awesome. I love my shelf train. I want to share it with you. Welcome to my office. I did this a while ago. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I wanted to have a train. Don't have a lot of extra space to live in a really small house. So what I did is I did the shelf train and I finally got everything squared away and done. This is the way it turned out. See I've got some trees and things up there. I'm running the front runner train which is the local commuter train here. The other train that I've had in the past on the track is the Union Pacific with the flag on the side. It's called the flag train. And that's pretty fun. This is the final product. This is how it looks. That's how the office turned out. So I have some scenery from a mountain village in Italy. I've got some from the Uinta Mountains in Utah. And then I also have a scene along the river in uh, Victoria. Well, or Victoria University. I think it's in Australia. And then I also have some uh, mountains from the Alps. So I've got a little sound generator. You can turn on the sound here. You have two modes. You hear a steam engine right now. And then you can change it to a diesel. You can do the bells, do brakes, coupler, generator. You can switch to the steam one. This is built right into the wall and then that cord goes underneath behind the wall up past here and then I did a power outlet inside the closet. I'll show that to you. So these are a little power vampire basically so I just most of the time set it like this. I just snuck that around the outside of the box and then I have the power outlet here. My intention was if we weren't selling the house I was going to do a little light switch down low to where kids can turn it on and off and then just have the train, this is a speed control and direction control, you can either run the train either direction, which is kind of fun because the front runner train it comes down one way backwards and then it comes back up north going forwards, so that's kind of fun, you can turn it up and get it cruising or you can run it nice and slow. Kind of fun to have something like this. I usually I'll just have it for white noise. It actually helps a baby to sleep. We had her sleeping in here for a little while and she likes it. She'll watch it, get bored, fall asleep. So I've got some pictures around. You know, initiative, nothing can stop the power of persistence. And then I also have a thing of uh, airplanes. I'd like to get another one of helicopters up. I actually have it but I don't have time to get it framed and there's no point in putting it up when we're about to take all of these down and then just have the train go at the house minus the actual train but the tracks and everything. So when you look up here the junction track is somewhere up here. That's the curves of the junctions above where the power outlet and stuff is. There it is. If you look closely you can see those two tabs. So there's a wire that comes in for the track on the back side there. See where the plug-in is? So I just poked a hole through the wall and put the power through and I just ran uh, a wire to where the outlet box is behind there when I put that in. And this is blocking where a power outlet is. So I pulled that power outlet out. It's like right here. It's in the same between the studs to go up into the closet. So that was really convenient because we're blocking the power outlet here but then I ran it so they're both working, they're both live and then I was just going to do an interrupt uh, switch in here like a light switch and that way you could turn the switch off and then that would cut power to the outlet and then that little power vampire reducer box they basically step down the voltage from what does it say, it steps it down from 120 all the way down to 16 volts 
So in the stepping down process, you can feel it gets hot after a while. And that's why I call it a power vampire, is because the heat on the, um, basically the resistors and things in this that help to get it down to 16 volts, it actually takes power. You have power loss to heat. I basically Xerox the instructions that came with the little sound box and blew it up and laminated it. And then I put magnets on the back and so you can just uh, go through but these are all the different functions of the sound box just blown up laminated and stuck up on there so we really enjoyed it it's too bad i didn't get it done faster i'm gonna do another project like this in the new house but it'll probably be a little while hope you enjoyed the video things are a little bit on the busy side i don't have time to do a longer edited nice video and i've been wanting to do an update on this same channel because this is the channel i posted the shelf train video on initially how to make a shelf train so i'll leave a link in the description for that and i'll leave some links for some of these other things if you're interested and uh thanks for watching planes trains and automobiles huh